हेलो एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून और गुड इवनिंग डिपेंडिंग अपॉन फ्रॉम विच एवर पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यूर ज्वाइनिंग अस फ्रॉम वेलकम टू स्पोर्ट्स टूडेज मॉर्निंग अपडेट एंड लाइक ऑलवेज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू ऑल द स्पोर्टिंग न्यूज हेडलाइंस दैट हैव बीन डूइंग द राउंड ऑन वेरियस सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड ऑन डिफरेंट न्यूज पेपर्स It's finally official the dates for the IPL mega auction for the season 2025 are out we broke it on sports today first yesterday 24th and 25th November are the two dates when the teams will be building on their uh, building of, up their teams for the 2025 IPL season it's going to be a mega auction it's going to be pretty pretty interesting everyone is looking forward to where the likes of somebody like Rishabh Pant KL Rahul will be going to 1500 plus players have registered who will be going under the hammer on the 24th and 25th of November Jeddah is the venue where the auctions will be taking place it was a last minute change but because of logistical reasons it was done but it's finally now official 24th and 25th November it's going to be coinciding with the first test of the border gavaskar trophy in that is to be played in perth from the 22nd of november but the timings are such that it's going to take place on different on uh, in different times of the day next up another bad news for the indian speedster mohammad shami according to fresh reports like we uh, uh, reported to you yesterday also he mohammad shami wasn't named in the bengal side for the next two rounds of the ranji trophy but what we are getting to know now is that he is now suffered a fresh injury it's a side strain after being out from cricket for over a year now a uh, first he had an ankle surgery then uh, his knee injury resurfaced now when he was on the road to recovery he was about to play the ranji trophy before he headed to australia if he was fit match fit he could have joined the team for the later stages of the border gavaskar trophy but now that is not going to be the case because he has developed a fresh injury in a side strain so that is some bad bad news for mohammad shami he is not getting any younger uh, by uh, as far as age is concerned he hasn't been in action since the uh, since the 19th of november so it's going to be a uh, uh, approximately a year when mohammad shami had left competitive cricket Gautam Gambhir has been under the pump since India has had a historic defeat against New Zealand a 3-0 clean sweep first time in the history that that has happened to an Indian test team and now there are fresh reports as far as Gautam Gambhir is concerned that the review meeting is going to take place on all the decisions that Gautam Gambhir has taken there were the after all the uh, leeway that Gautam Gambhir was given as far as support staff was concerned in fact um an exception was made when gautam gambhir was made to allowed was allowed to sit in the selection meeting but that which is not allowed but for the border gavaskar trophy there was an exception seeing the magnitude of the tournament uh, of the series he was allowed in that meeting but after all the results now the report suggests that ajit agarkar um and uh, other members from the bcci including gautam gambhir will be part of that review meeting where all the decisions of gambhir that were taken in the border uh, in the new zealand test series be it going back to rank tenors or the team combination everything will be under scrutiny a lot is going to depend on how india plays in the border gavaskar trophy as far as gautam gambhir's future as indian head coach is concerned Shreyas Iyer makes a return to the Ranji Trophy side but the other man just right next to him Prithvi Shaw still not featuring in that Mumbai side for the next round of the Ranji Trophy Shreyas Iyer did not play the pr uh, previous game of the Ranji Trophy citing personal reasons but now he has returned for his uh, side Mumbai uh, in the next round of the Ranji Trophy Prithvi Shaw who was dropped for disciplinary reasons and fitness has still not returned into the Mumbai side moving away from cricket for a bit now iman khalif who had um uh, who there were a lot of uh, there was a lot of talk about her during the paris olympics and there were a lot of talks as far as her gender was concerned but as per latest reports now there is a leaked report a french journalist 
has had uh, um, has uh, has come out with a leaked report in which it suggests that she uh, Iman Khalif he still there are a lot of things around her they everyone is asking for a ban now because according to that leaked report it suggests that X Y chromo due to excess of that she, there is still confusion as far as her gender was concerned but in the Olympics she was awarded the gold medal she even went on and won the gold medal uh, and she was allowed by the uh, uh, Olympic Association. But now, after this leaked report, this is still a developing story, and we came with you, uh, came to you with all the latest news regarding this yesterday also. And as it's a developing story, we will be coming to you with all the latest updates that we get. Great news for Indian sports. It's the dream of the Prime Minister of the country to host the Olympics and India has taken the first step towards that. To the future hosting committee of the Olympic, uh, of the Olympic Association, India has sent in their letter of intent. P.T. Usha also, you would have heard her on Sports Today yesterday uh, telling everyone that how India is moving forward to the dream of hosting the Olympics in India. If you haven't checked that out, do go and check that video out also. It's a great start for the Indian uh, India to host the 2020, uh, 2036 Olympic Games in India itself. So it, it is the first uh, first step towards that. Still a long way to go, but definitely if it's a dream and the Prime Minister wants it so desperately, you can never say never. That's about it as far as the morning update is concerned. It's still the day beginning of the day. Lots of news coming your way. Lots of things happening in Indian cricket at least as far as uh, cricket is concerned. The Border Gavaskar Trophy just around the corner. The IPL auction later this month, just a couple 10, 12 days away from the IPL auction. Now you will we will be coming to you with all the latest updates, sporting news, and whatever everything that's exciting happening in the sporting world. But for that, you need to. Subscribe to Sports Today and if you like this video, do not forget to give us a like as well.